Well, hello there and welcome back. Well, today we're going to talk about cleaning the type slugs on a manual typewriter. You know, cleaning the type slugs is equivalent to brushing your teeth, I think. And I categorize it into two general phases. The first phase is you just got a typewriter, it's dirty as heck, and you need to clean the type slugs really thoroughly. We're going to cover that kind of thorough initial cleaning. But then there's also the what you might think of as daily maintenance. Every time you use it, you probably, either before or after, should give a little clean to the type slugs to prevent the buildup of ink, and we're going to talk about how to do that as well. Stay tuned. Okay, so let's say you have a typewriter you just acquired and it's really dirty and you want to clean the type slugs. What are you going to need? Well, I like to have the 91% isopropyl alcohol to start with as a cleaning solvent. Um, I like to use them in a little squirt bottle like this. It means you can apply the solvent a little bit more directly to where you need it. Okay, there's that. Um, I like several brushes. There are these sets of machinist brushes that you can get at places like Harbor Freight Tools. And they come in a set of, what, three or four brushes. There's a plastic bristled one, this brass bristled brush, and there's like a steel bristled brush. I like the brass one because being metal, it is strong enough to get into the crevices of the type slugs, but it's a softer metal being brass than the steel of the type slugs itself, so there's less chance of scratching the type slugs. I also like to have a toothbrush uh, with me for some fine, gentle cleaning. Um, there are so Q-tips or cotton buds that you can also use. That's a good product. And then I like to protect the body of the typewriter from splashes of solvent or whatever. So I like to have a few cloths with me handy when I'm doing it. Okay, that's the materials I'm going to use. So let's look at the typewriter itself. Well, first of all, I like to start with a old towel on my work surface to soak up any dribbles of solvent or whatever. So there's my typewriter cleaning towel. And then uh, I will take the ribbon out of the machine. I don't want to get alcohol on the ribbon. It'll ruin the ink. So to take your ribbon out if you haven't done so already. Now we're pretending like this is a very dirty typewriter that you just got from a thrift store or antique store or whatever. But this one actually is not too dirty, not too bad a shape. But we're going to use it as an example of how to clean it. So you want to move the carriage, in this case, far enough to the left so you can open up the ribbon cover. So what we want to do is to protect all the paint and plastic parts from being splattered with alcohol and dirty ink. So I'm going to put a cloth over the whole keyboard, tuck it down into here. And then I'm going to need a slightly bigger cloth to cover up the carriage like this. Tuck it down in here like that. So we are not going to be cleaning the um, pivot points of the type bar linkages. We're just going to be doing the type slugs themselves. So. I'm going to start with my brass bristle brush and the alcohol, and I'm going to just start on one end. You can do either side and put a little bit of alcohol, dribble it on the type bars. I do a little bit at a time, like five to ten type bars at a time. You're just trying to wipe off the ink, and then you also want to make sure that you periodically lubricate the brush and you want to scrub the sides of the type bars of the type slugs because these slugs have to go into that narrow slot of the type guide and if there's any residue building up on the sides of the slugs it might keep it from getting in there all the way it'll maybe cause the type R to hang up or whatever so I just want to clean the sides of the type slugs as well as the faces of them and you want to go kind of a little bit at a time dry off the alcohol and then I try to go back over it again with a soft toothbrush, softer than a metal brush. Try to just clean it like that. You're going to work your way across uh, the whole range of type slugs, all 88 keys or however many there are. And then when you're done with that, and you make sure you get all the sides of the type slugs as well, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to have to look into the loops 
of the type slugs themselves and try to clean them out as well. Okay, to clean out the details of the slugs itself, I use a dental pick, but you could also use a sewing needle stuck into a wine bottle cork. I will put a little bit of alcohol on it, and then you just want to kind of work your way around and try to pick out any of the dirt in the actual loops and also around the sides of the raised letters just to kind of scrape away whatever residue the brushing didn't remove as well. So get all of the little loops if, as you can. Some of the letters like the figure eight and all that are very tiny, uh, very tiny holes but you just want to work your way around and pick all the little holes and loops in the type slugs themselves. Get them as clean as you can. So here's an example. The figure eight, the number eight is uh, right here and it is a little dirty. I'm trying to pick out the residue. There it is. It's coming out now. And actually this particular dental pick is not quite as sharp as some of them so you might want to make sure you have a sharp dental pick. So here's the other option. You can use a sewing needle stuck into a wine bottle cork and that sometimes is a good way to get a nice fine little pin pointed tool to clean out the slugs if you don't want to get a dental pick. I happen to have also a dental pick kit from Harbor Freight Tools and they tend to work okay. Nice sharp little picks and they're inexpensive. Okay, I have the uh, ribbon reinstalled and uh, let's try it out on this newsprint paper that seems to be prone to getting uh, the type slugs clogged a little bit more, at least on my KMM. So we, sh we shall see here. Okay. This is kind of what we want to see. We want to see these nice, clean loops, clean type after a thorough cleaning of the type slugs. Now we're going to cover how to keep your type slugs clean as you type, either before, during, or afterwards, so your document can stay as neatly printed as it can be. Well, I'm starting out here on the Royal KMM, and the KMM here, it's... Maybe, as I've written here on my little paper, it's kind of like the worst case scenario as far as clogging up the letters because it is a elite typeface machine and I'm typing on newsprint paper and I have a darkly inked ribbon and those three in combination with each other kind of represents the worst case. You can see here where I started typing and it was pretty neat, but as I get about Halfway down the paragraph, maybe the fourth line, you start to see the loops. The C here, it starts to get messier and messier. So you don't want to stop in the middle of your document to do a thorough cleaning with alcohol necessarily, but I'll show you what I like to do for quick expedient cleaning. I like to use these beautician's brushes. Now I got these from Sally's Beauty Supply. They're used for applying hair color dyes and things like that. They have these long stiff bristles which makes them really good for getting into crevices in typewriters and they're pretty good for cleaning type slugs because they're stiff enough. They're stiffer than the typical toothbrush that you might be using. So I really like using these beautician's brushes. I do find the long handle is a little irritating, so if you get one of these, you might want to just go ahead and cut the handle off and round off the corners. You have a nice little short handle. What we'll do here is, so I still have my document in the machine. So this is like cleaning the type slugs on the fly as you're typing. I'm gonna open the ribbon cover. Hopefully you can see that a little bit better. So what I like to do is take this brush here and I will brush the type slugs like that toward uh, the inside of the machine with the idea that any residue that I'm getting off onto the brush will be hopefully brushed down into the bottom of the machine, keeping in mind that this machine does not have a bottom panel. so whatever you brush off might end up on your table or whatever, but it's just kind of a quick and expedient little 
brushing like that. You'll have some ink residue in the brush, so we'll have to clean that later. But for now, There you go. So we've cleaned up the type slugs. We continue with the typing. Everything is fine. But of course, because of the nature of this rough paper, the small typeface, it's going to get dirty once again. So I do have another little product that I have not actually tried. Bergion Rotico, and this is like a clay material that is used to clean the details, clean like dirt and debris out of the details of finely detailed products. And there used to be products like this specifically made for typewriters, type cleaning clay. I have not used this. This is brand new to me. So we're going to open up the box here. And we have this little lump of turquoise blue clay that's wrapped in a little paper wrapping with a sticker on it. Kind of reminds me of 120 roll film. Okay, there we go. Interesting. Well, so I could either pull off a chunk of this or just start using it the way it is. So let's see if we can get these type slugs nice and dirty and then see how this clay works to clean them up. Well, okay, so we have uh, typed a paragraph or so, and the type slugs are starting to get dirty again. So here is the clay-like material. I have never used this before. And so you can see there's an imprint of ink on the clay. Okay, let's keep going. Let's just uh, pulling off the ink pretty quickly. The real question is, you know, is it any quicker and more thorough and or more thorough than, you know, using a brush? Well, that's after the initial round of just dabbing it on to each set of type slugs. That's a lot of ink. So let's give it a test and see how clean it looks. Well, I must say, it definitely cleaned it up, I think, better than with the stiff bristled brush. So this paragraph was before we did the cleaning of the bristle brush. This is after. This is dirtying it up again. And then this is after with using the clay. I think comparing these two paragraphs, the clay certainly seems to do a better job. Now, of course, we have a lot of ink on the clay, and I suppose what we're supposed to do is just kind of blend it in uh, so that it kind of mixes around, and eventually this whole piece will get kind of dingy looking and may not clean quite as well. But I guess there's probably a long lifetime, I'm guessing, of using this uh, before you have to buy another pack of it. Well, if all you had was the brush, it would certainly do okay, but I'm kind of excited about this Rotico uh, clay made by Bergion. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Bergion? Bergion? But there it is. Uh, I'll leave a link down below if you're interested in getting some of this for yourself. And I do like the way after you've used it, you can wrap it back up in the paper wrapper and reseal the sticker on it and uh, throw it in your typing bag and you'll have it for your future type slug cleaning needs. Keep it handy uh, next to your typewriter. It looks like a good product. Well, I hope this video prepared you to know how to thoroughly clean the type slugs once you first get your typewriter, but also how to keep the type slugs clean down the road as you use your typewriter. And as always, I wish you the very best. Stay creative and have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye for now.